Hey guys, this is Comedy Geek 569 and today I'll be showing you guys how to manually custom each icon on your iPod Touch. So let's say you don't like an icon or two and you don't want to change the whole thing to find a nice icon. You can just change that one exact icon. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, so first go to your internet browser and look for the picture you want. I'm going to be using this for my installer. I want to replace the installer icon with this. Okay. First of all, you need to resize the image, and I'm just going to use preview because I'm on a Mac. Adjust size. And take that off. Okay, the width needs to be 60, and the height needs to be 60. So 60 by 60 pixels, you, that's how big the picture needs to be. So make sure it's a 60 by a 60. So then you save as, and you have to save it to the name exactly the way it's spell, spelled on your iPod Touch. If there are any... Um, if there are any uh, spaces or capitals, you have to do that. And I capitalized the I, as you guys can see. So that's there. So just hit save. Okay, now I can X out of that. And I've got it right here. That's my thing. And rename it really quickly. Add dot PNG. So it needs to be in, in whatever the name is, dot PNG. Okay, so just use PNG. Okay, so once you've gotten that, I'll just discard this. Once you've gotten that, you need to create a new folder, and mine is, it's called, new. it needs to be, it doesn't matter what it's called, mine is just called new icons, but the folder, in, you're going to create another folder inside of it, which is just by side-clicking and hit new folder, and you have to name it icons with a capital I. So name that, and then you drag your picture in here. It's not what I'm going to want. I want, I want to put this one in here. Okay, so that's in there. So, okay, now you're going to need to SSH into your iPod Touch. Okay, once you've connected to your iPod Touch, you're going to click the up arrow, I believe, three times. On third time, you go to Library, and then you go to Themes. And you're going to drag that folder you have, mine's behind the thing, into Themes. Mine's already in there. So, like, I'll show you guys it. Mine's called New Icons right there. It's right there. And I already have it, but I'm just going to dr drag the picture into it. So, like, since I already have the folder, I'll just dra drag the individual picture into it. Move that over here. So, you click on New Icons. Then make sure it's called Icons. These are the two. I'm going to get rid of that one. Sorry, I was testing something earlier. Okay. And this is my picture I want. Just drag it right there. Okay, once you have it downloaded on your iPod Touch, you can just X out of your um, SSH. And just for the note, um, I use Cyberduck. So if you guys need a way to SSH, just use Cyberduck, okay? Now I'm gonna switch over to my iPod Touch to show you guys what to do from there. Okay, once you've um, SSH your folder into your iPod Touch. You're gonna go to Winterboard. So let me quickly go to Winterboard. The top right there. Sorry. Right there. Okay. Once you open your Winterboard, you should see mine is called New Icons, like I said, and make sure it's checked. So I'm gonna uncheck it and then check it because mine's already checked. And then when you click the home button, your springboard should restart. If you guys can see that rotating ball right there. I'll come back once it's restarted. So now the Apple Touch has finished restarting. Let me open it up and take you to the installer icon. If you guys look next to Cydia, there's the installer. You should see the little picture I had. So yeah, that is how you um manually customize specific icons on your iPod touch. Um it must be jailbroken. Mine's running a 2.2.1 firmware. And you must you must be able to SSH into your iPod touch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any comments, questions, just put them in the comment box. Thanks for watching and have a good day.